Welcome to this Nexus Talk new pod podcast. I'm your host, I'm Robert Kier from Nexus International. As you might know, Nexus is a growth accelerator. We are here to support our supplier partners from new products initiatives for the automotive aftermarket. Today, we are very delighted to introduce NRF, the product and the philosophy, and we have a special guest. Please welcome Michael Mieczkowski. Michael, thank you to be with us. Can you please introduce yourself to our listeners first? Hello, Robert. First of all, congratulations for pronouncing my name in <laughs> such a such a correct way. Actually, Polish names are very difficult to be pronounced. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for uh, having me here. My name is Michał Mieczkowski, as Robert mentioned. I have a pleasure to be head of uh, uh, cat category management, product management in NRF. Great. So. So grab your favorite beverage, find a cozy spot, and let's start this um, new episode of podcast. Michael, um, if I would ask you about three things that make you leave every day to work, each with a smile of your face, what would you say? What is that? Three things, you say? Three things. Um, <laughs> okay. The, the first uh, would definitely be that... I really don't know what the day will bring. <laughs> it sounds strange, but uh, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, not having any meetings scheduled to my agenda is full. We all have too much of it, don't we, right? <laughs> you probably know that very, very well, Robert, also. I'm more thinking about, you know, being a part of such a dynamic environment, which actually automotive business had became recently. It always was, but recently we see it really, really a lot. Um, we are in the middle of, of, of the biggest transition since uh, horses were replaced by first cars, right? That's true. And talking about uh, challenges and big trends in our aftermarket, let's start with the first big trend, electrification. Do you believe that hybrids or let's say EVs in general will taking over ICE? challenges exactly <laughs> and uh, regarding your question we witness a real phenomenon right now that's that's absolutely a fact the way we travel uh, the way we transport our goods the whole logistics uh, the way how we plan our holidays or even get to work is, is changing in front of our eyes mm, it's a real pleasure for me uh, to see the progress being made in actual and, and, and actually being a part of that, actually. So, sorry, what do you mean by that? Uh, I mean that on one hand, uh, but let me talk about NRF only, right? So I mean that on one hand for, for, N, for NRF, it's more um, like a evolution not a real revel revolution and this word is really really important here why it's only evolution not revolution if we take a closer look on on both onboard system we concern the most which is uh, which one <laughs> uh, these are of course cooling and air conditioning of course uh, I didn't mention the company name at the beginning of that chat. Of course, it's NRF. So the, the main two pillars there are uh, cooling and engine cooling and air condition, conditioning. So if we will take a closer look on, on, on both uh, of those uh, uh, main product groups and comparing the parts, uh, it consists in electrical vehicles, but also in internal combustion engine ones, it shows up that no wheel has been reinvented here. Uh, what I mean by that is like condenser is still a condenser. Radiator is a radiator and sensor is a sensor. Uh, uh, there are some, let me call it exclusives that differ. Uh, just to mention regular to belt driven compressors, uh, comparing them to e-compressors. This is of course different, but compressor is still a compressor. Um, but the purpose and the method of working uh, of those two products are, are still the same. So what I'm trying to say here is that nothing is changing here for us. For us, I mean for uh, NRF, right? 
I see, but uh, what is a tough cookie here in this challenge? Uh, <laughs> I think that most likely the fact that it all happens in such a short uh, period of time, it's in, in such a short notice. Um, in some cases, EVs are being developed in parallel with internal uh, combustion engines, uh, vehicles, of course. So, uh, in a way, doubles the range we have to take care of, right? Because, of course, we still have to keep in our range all the parts for uh, traditional vehicles, let's call them this way. Uh, and, of course, we have to, we have to also have... Uh, parts for EVs so so this is uh, this is tough cookie for sure what is more we have uh, completely new brands uh, in the market I mean new car manufacturers right especially Chinese ones which are popping out and, and fighting their space in Europe uh, few examples maybe MG BYD NEO Geely with their Polestar uh, even Link and Co all those brands you know Five years ago or, or ten years ago, you haven't heard about them anything, and right now they are they are already on our streets. So growing dif differences between car parks around the world are so on one big challenge. But actually, we love challenges. I, yeah, we all love challenges, definitely, and uh, I fully got your point. So let's move to the second thing you like about your work. Uh, in a way, it relates to the first, or I would rather say the first bring the second with it. And that is what? <laughs> uh, definitely the development. Uh, constant and never ending process of facilitating and learning new stuff. Um, with a whole respect, of course, with a whole respect uh, to our uh, Editors, but NRF has a mission to be ahead of the competition on every field. Um, but I, I still need to come back to that respect because uh, good competition drives better services and quality for end customers. And, and this is the most important part, right? But uh, our product portfolio needs not only follow market trends and, and comparing ourselves with com competition. For these trends, we want to set them. We want to be further than others. We want to be farther than others. We need to set those trends. And since you are the head of the department responsible for the range expansion, <laughs> what? it makes it makes a, it makes a story, right? <laughs> yeah, because I, uh, it puts you on the spot, of course. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, we believe that a modern company is uh, is strong because uh, the strength of uh, their people that that build it right now i'm i'm, I'm counting uh, quickly uh, 13 plus 2 15 so now uh, i know that 15 people i manage spend their time having one common goal um, growing nrf and making our partners growing with with us right so mm, our goal is to give uh, our people opportunities, to empowering them, uh, to support them in achieving their goals. Of course, both professional and personal too. So that's one of our main purposes to empower our uh, our people. And uh, but but sometimes it's simply uh, just letting them doing their job. So. <laughs> You know, in my team, uh, we have uh, petrol heads, we have uh, people with huge passion uh, for cars. They simply like their jobs. So uh, I'm, I'm making fun of it that uh, sometimes it's better not to disturb them. Let them do their job because they are so pas passionate about it that they really know what they're doing and they really love what they doing. Uh, altogether, NRF category management members uh, have more then, and I really did count that before that uh, podcast, 120 years of experience in automotive business. 120, seriously. We really know what we are doing and uh, you may be sure and our customers can be also sure that uh, the products will be how it should be because the people who, which are taking care of that really knows their job. 
under 20 years of experience that true true and true this, true this of course will help you to to take the right decisions when it comes to your category management strategy that's amazing great so michael you have mentioned that nrf product portfolio follows the market uh, which to be honest makes sense do you have any any favorite examples you would like to to share with us today um can I have two? <laughs> if you don't mind, of course. Not at all, be my guest. Come on. <laughs> all right. So uh, first uh, would definitely be sensors. Sensors. Um, actually, right now, uh, it's the second biggest uh, ongoing product related project in NRF right after e-mobility because e-mobility definitely is, is number one. Uh, on top of our heads, but uh, sensors are definitely on uh, second second place. Uh, it started and mostly run by category management. I but but there is a but. <laughs> the first the very first idea uh, comes from from a brainstorm which took place uh, some time ago. Um, there, there were, of course, some, some colleagues or also some advisors and uh, we put a uh, few ideas on the table and during that time, first time sensors has uh, showed up. Uh, but long story short, before 2020, uh, we had just a couple of uh, air co-pressure sensors in our range with maybe additional 10 coolant level sensor. So that was it. And honestly speaking, none of this group were uh, taken seriously. I don't want, I, I was looking for another word here because if my boss will hear that we were not taken seriously, uh, any of our products, then he will be probably angry, but uh, we have to be serious here. Why we had that sensors that time? We had to have uh, we had to have some uh, air pressure sensors because of air products, Raj. Right? If if you have if you have condensers, if you have compressors, if you have expansion valves, uh, dryers, uh, you need to have the full range, every everything. And customers also demand demanded AC ACPs that time. Uh, we added also level sensors uh, because we had expansion tanks. So if customers were buying expansion tanks and there is a hole for assembling uh, coolant level sensors, they were interested too. But it was as it was. But three years later, in 2023, uh, we have more than 700 sensors references already in five different product groups. We've built a dedicated laboratory in Granada, in Spain. We really did that. We precisely know where we want to be with our offer. And? So, where is that? <laughs> where, where we want to be with our, with our offer. It's actually really, really yeah. simple. We want to become a one-stop shop. One-stop shop for our custo customers. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that we supply wide range of high quality products, of course, but everybody says so, uh, which are demanded on the on the market. Uh, but why we want to do that? We want to make our partners to scale up their first businesses as simple as that. So, you know, to have wide range, high quality in the right place where our customers, our partners need that got you and indeed it sounds very simple but uh, let's be frank with our listeners don't you think that it's each aftermarket company's goal sure it is of course we are everybody here to to do it but you know nrfs makes a dreams come true so wow. <laughs> uh during during the project we realized that uh if we need to be self-efficient on, on fields of validation and warranty investigation of all the sensors we supply, it means that uh, we have a team which is one of the widest teams in our uh, in our comp company. I'm, I'm talking here about tech support team which uh, speaks in 12 languages and they're all over uh, the countries where uh, NRF is active. 
And our tech support team, I don't know, right now, more than 40 people right now working, won't, working there. And uh, why I'm mention, mentioning them? Because uh, we are always uh, validating everything what we are going to put to our portfolio. My product managers, my category managers, people working in my department are not allowed to introduce any of the product if validation department hasn't tested by themselves uh, earlier. So long story short, uh, we build it our own laboratory in Spain. We build it in Canada, everything what we need to know about sensors under one roof uh, just to be sure that we are selling, we are supplying the product which we know how it works and how good is that. This is how we do it. I love the expression NRF makes a dream come true, really. But, <laughs> but seriously, that's very, very impressive. It is really. But now you are in the flow. I can see that. Uh, give me a second example. Ah, yeah, yeah, because the first was sensors, as we as we agreed, and, and second, uh, this one is much easier uh, for me because I'm personally really proud of it. Uh, the product group that in 2021 actually appeared to us as a missing puzzle in the thermal business, because NRF has, you know, almost everything you can imagine for uh, engine cooling and conditioning. We have all of it actually not almost all of it but there was one missing puzzle what what is that it's thermostats a trial range was uh, less than 200 uh, items uh, and it was introduced in the beginning of 2021 i can't recall exactly but i think it was march march or april 2021 i've checked this morning and the counter shows double so it means that right now we are on the level of 400 SKUs of uh, our thermostats. And honestly speaking, uh, we are a bit afraid. What, oh, Jesus, who is calling right now? Not now, guys. I'm doing something really important. I'm so sorry, guys, uh, for that. But uh, it just proves that uh, mm, it's uh, we are in the office constantly. <laughs> so uh, what I said, uh, I, I, I was checking today in the morning and it was 400, 400 SKUs of uh, our thermostat. And honestly speaking, um, I'm a bit afraid what next year brings. <laughs> Sorry, why is that? Uh, you know, because of the pace. Uh, in 2023, we hit uh, annual sales targets somewhere around August. Uh, yes, you hear proper properly. The budget we had on our thermostats uh, for the whole year, we achieved in August. So I'm not sure if I really want to know 2024 budget for that group, which I will get from uh, MT, because that's going to probably be huge. <laughs> but I can tell you, I would bet with you that some of your competitors would like to have the similar, let's call it, issues. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they would. <laughs> Sounds like a luxury problem. Um, <laughs> and very nice, by the way. So, you seem to be very relaxed and confident, is it? Really? <laughs> Probably I am. Uh, and this is the third cause of my morning excitement, actually. <laughs> so, self-confidence? Not really, but in a in a way, yes, but understood as feeling of having a real impact on something, a real impact on the market, learning it, understanding it, and, and finally shaping shaping it. It's super convenient. I mean, no, wrong word. It's super pleasant to be a part of such a company, to be a part of such a team that you know that you have a real impact on somebody else that you are really creating something, that you are changing uh, something. Uh, you know, we are doing important things that influence others, as I said, and makes somebody's life easier and simply better. Okay, to make somebody's life easier and simply better. We are still talking about aftermarket car parts, right? <laughs> uh, sure we are. I will. I will give you an example of better life here. Uh, 
think about upcoming winter. Today, I don't know when uh, this podcast will be live uh, on, on, on which platforms, but today we have uh, we have middle of uh, almost middle of uh, November. So the winter season is coming. And I know that reliable heaters, which of course NLF, uh, NRF supply, uh, make you feel comfy and warm shortly after you start your engine in your car, Robert. In, 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 in example heater, in example, uh, second, second example, interior blower. If it is efficient, like NRF blowers, of course, are, then it quick, it, it, it really quickly defreezes uh, windows, uh, making you start driving faster, right? I mean, not driving faster, but uh, set off that you can start driving before uh, you will leave your home, right? All that followed by smoothly working air conditioning system uh, that keep the moisture uh, off your your windows, what makes, what means you travel uh, safer. How about that? Is this making uh, people's lives easier? To be honest, um, can you can you try harder to convince me? I I still need a bit more. Jesus Christ, Robert, do you mind me? You are German. I'm German, and this is why <laughs> sometimes uh, I like to challenge you. And uh, do you have something else to, to to address? I mean, I'm sure you have something more. In your All right. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. But but still, let's uh, let's keep ourselves uh, close to winter, and those heaters and blowers which I mentioned. Uh, what if I add that product supply by NRF, those heaters and blowers I've mentioned, fit to at least eight out of ten passenger cars and LCVs around you on European roads. What it means that if you will go outside right now your office and when when you will look look around, so NRF will have to eight cars out of ten which you will see, we will have a heater and even nine blowers out of ten of the cars around you. Okay, I'm almost there. I mean, got it? Do you have some last point? Something more which uh, really makes me wow. Okay, so now uh, prepare your money because the next blower you will buy uh, it's gonna be NRF for sure. All our products, or NRF products, are covered with two years warranty, and uh, for now the availability uh, is on a level of ninety percent. Now you have to agree. Please admit it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that one's life can be changed with high quality aftermarket car parts, is it? Okay, okay. I, I have no choice. I have no choice but to admit to that uh, I'm not really uh, NRF uh, thermo strategy addicted. I have to say I'm very impressed about your progressive strategy and evolutions. Um, it, it was a big pleasure, uh, Michelle. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it was really fun to interview Michael Wieczowski, uh, the head of category management at NRF. Michael, I thank you very much. It was a pleasure for me. Um, one last word is your pleasure. Um, Robert, thank you very much for inviting me. It was a pleasure for me too. Uh, thank you and our audience. Thank you guys that uh, you've listened to this talk. Uh, stay warm because as we were talking, winter is coming and Till the next time, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.